Hey there, geeks. Tim Tibbetts, as always, from MajorGeeks.com. And today we're going to talk to you about how to stay safe with Windows 7 after the end of support. I threw together an article, which you can see here in the background. There's a link to it in the description, and it's gotten quite a few hits. And I thought I'd throw together a video so you can follow along with a video if you don't feel like reading all the words. And I'm actually going to try and talk a little slower for Sandy Rose. Sandy, this is it. This is me going slow. So here's her thoughts, and you're not going to, everybody's not going to like it. Upgrade to Windows 10 already. It's Windows 7 is not going to be secure, and there aren't a lot of ways to upgrade to Windows 10 free. You can follow this link and see if you still can, and you still might be able to follow through this guide. There's also a video that goes along with that. You can also buy a cheap key. If you see, I'm running here in a virtual machine, so in other words, I'm running Windows inside of Windows. I bought a product key. And there's a couple ways you can do it. Once again, if you follow this guide step by step, you can buy it. Should be a legitimate key for 20 to 50 bucks. I went on eBay and I bought a three dollar and two ninety nine something like that. It's in the article here somewhere. It's been a while. That's just my point. Point is, I bought like a three dollar key, and I don't even remember how much I paid for it. It was so cheap, it still works. You're looking at it here. So that's something worth considering. There it is right here, $3.72. Now, I'll be honest, I had to reinstall my computer when I did. All of a sudden, that key didn't want to work, so guess what? I'm in another 3 bucks. If you've never tried Windows 10, you could try it and see if you like it. As I mentioned in the article, the negative voices are always the loudest. Always. One of the biggest problems people have with Windows 10 is not how it runs, not how it looks, nothing. It's the privacy, which is very questionable. One of those guys just says... You know, you're watching YouTube, you're making comments, you're on your your smartphones, and you're being tracked everywhere you go, but Windows 10 is horrible. Well, we can fix that. Third-party privacy apps right here, and Windows 10 fixes. Now, the privacy apps are neat, and we also have articles on Major Geeks, Destroy Windows 10 Spying, stuff like that. And Windows 10 fixes, which is kind of neat, so you've, maybe you heard that Windows 10 does something that you hate. You'd be surprised if you look through here, especially by popularity. i got to slow down again, Sandy. i was getting ahead of myself that you can see different stuff on here that you might like. Oh, and oh, shut up, one of my favorites. W10 Privacy, I like that. You can get Windows 7 games for Windows 10. Definitely scroll through the Windows 10 fixes category. Just take a look at it, see if we can work it out. Now, you have to remember that you can block the Windows 7 end of support messages, which won't matter much longer. And another thing to consider is for example, when Windows XP went south, there was a service pack 4. As you can see, it's been a while now, but they updated it for, obviously, 2016 Windows XP for years. What they did was they rolled up all the Windows official packs and unofficially patched problems that Microsoft didn't address. We mention this because Windows XP, when it had some serious problems, well, guess what? Microsoft stepped up and released patches for it even though it wasn't supported anymore they're not going to leave you out there in the wild completely so you got some time still as of january 2020 you've still got a little bit of time so keep that in mind now let's scroll on down let's make sure you're protecting yourself and this is where we run into another problem windows 10 has the windows security as you can see down here so if i open that up you have your virus and threat protection, you have firewall protection, you have app and browser control, device security. Is it perfect? No, but neither is your antivirus or your firewall. There is no such thing as perfect, but it works very well. As you can see, even on my main machine, I'm running Defender because with Windows 7, you're used to being smart, you're used to being careful, and you're also probably used to a free antivirus like AVG or Avira, but here's the problem. So none of them are really free anymore. They're free with limitations because they want you to buy it. And I'm not knocking that. That's cool. But if you're going to pay up, consider Bitdefender or Kaspersky, for example. They tend to be in the top two consistently, but you're going to pay for them. If you want to look at them, go ahead. As you can see, it's ranked a three. One of the dumbest ratings I've ever seen on Major Geeks in my entire life. This is one of the top antiviruses out there, period. There's no three on that. So it just goes to show you got to be careful about what you're reading and what you're hearing because everything you see is not true. It's the internet. So let's move forward. 
again, AVG, Avira, and those are better than nothing on Windows 7, so do not, I'm not knocking AVG or Avira. We don't really recommend Avast anymore, it's so bloated, but those are probably our top two AVG, Avira. There's a Bitdefender free, but very limited, etc. And of course, we did some more discussion here, what we just talked to you about, and that's the Windows 10 comes with Windows Security. Feel free to click that link, I'm going to tell you why. There's an article on what's the best best antivirus and is Windows Defender good enough? And we spend a good amount of time here talking about it and explaining how if you want to decide which antivirus is the best, we don't even show you. See the names in there? You can't even read it. I'm going to tell you why. It doesn't matter. Some are good, some are bad. But on what? Malware? False positives? What? There's a million different possibilities. Common sense. You can't buy it. So feel free to skim this little article. Here's some good information explaining everything I'm discussing now. Try and Sandy, I think I sped up again. Finally, malware bytes. Still one of the best tools to have on your drive. I'm not a fan of purchasing it, but I like to have it for scanning when I have problems. And that basically summarizes everything. So if you haven't tried Windows 10, go through our videos, everything's on Windows 10. Is it perfect? Nope. Unpin from start, I don't want it there. It's not that hard to use. You don't want something like calculator? Take it out. Uninstall. You've spent time on Windows 7 customizing it, tweaking it, and it doesn't change on Windows 10. You're going to spend some time, so why not spend your time taking care of all the privacy and security problems you've heard about? We've got some great articles. I should probably add it into here as well on Major Geeks that help you go through every step to get rid of sponsored ads, stuff like that. So Microsoft, basically, since they're sticking to Windows 10, is probably expecting to sell less and trying to make more by showing a couple of ads or sponsored apps, for example. And it's worth noting that as we approach the end of life, Windows 7 holds out about 30% of all computers. Hackers are going to come after that because when the new vulnerabilities come out and you're not patched, they're coming for you. That's a nice market share right there overall. And worse, if you have a business... Nice time to leave my phone on, right? If you have a business, even worse, they're a larger percentage. So business, any IT guys out there, admin guys, 62% market share, they're coming for you. So if you want to keep your job, you might consider seeing if you can upgrade now. So hopefully we gave you a little help. It's one of our longer videos ever and probably a little more boring than usual just because there's nothing really going on here except to show you a little bit about this article and save you the trouble of having to read everything. So there you go. Feel free to come to this article in the video description and look for the links here. Slow down, as Sandy tells me. Slow down and feel free to click some of these links and browse around. You know what? Decide for yourself. You don't want upgrades? Cool by me. It's not changing my day any. But if you're not going to, be sure to follow to protect yourself. And make sure you've got a good antivirus because there's a good chance that that's Sandy Rose replying to me down here um, on YouTube. Um, let's see here. There's a good chance, Sandy made me lose my train of thought. There's a good chance that having a good antivirus is going to protect you going forward where Microsoft will no longer. So there you go. Thanks as always for watching. Leave a comment, click like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully we'll see you again real soon.